2 2.0. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Let's get into the video. So, today we are going to build a lava pit trap. So, I've started making one here, but we're going to start making one from scratch. So, my name is Ben. You're watching this channel, Mad Dog 2.0. And let's get into the video. So, first we're going to want to clear out an area of, um, it has to be 10 blocks wide. It's very wide. So, 10 blocks. Let's see if we can do that here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, 6 line in length. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're just going to dig back around here. So in some areas it's going to be two blocks high, but in most of the areas it's just going to be one block. So it's very small, and but yet a very fun prank to pull on people. So we're going to have cobweb in this one. You don't need to have cobweb, but it adds to the, like, it's really fun to have cobweb since you just see them slowly dripping towards their death which is like don't tell your parents about that if you're watching this video but it's kind of funny to watch and if you're recording them you could like um rub it in their faces that they fall into the trap but anyway let's get into it so remember this is not the length this is the length and this is the width you can make it like um eight blocks long or eight blocks in length, and then just have a six block um, door. But we're gonna make it four. So we're gonna place one, two, three, four of these sticky pistons. Then, um, as you can see, uh, we're going to need. Oh. Okay. Well, um, I don't actually need that. I accidentally cut out a seven long. So you only need two blocks after here, and remember, you need to have that two block, block gap with the sticky pistons, and then you're just gonna repeat the same thing on this side, and then boom. And then whatever you block you want to be the floor, you can just place right where the sticky pistons are, like that. Now, the block that ha will be your floor cannot be obsidian or bedrock because they're immovable objects, and sticky pistons can't push or pull them back. So, the, you just can't have four more than that. But, um, so, now we're going to place four repeaters. You can also expand it, like I've mentioned before, maybe. You can make it, like, you can cut out eight blocks in length, and then just put two more st sticky pieces here. If you want to make it so they can't jump over it, or just want to make it bigger, then you can totally do that. But, uh, uh, we're just going to make it four. So, I'm going to place four here, four repeaters, right um, behind the sticky pistons that are going into the sticky pistons, and then boom. So, that, you have that done. I'm going to place redstone behind those four repeaters. Sorry. Um, so, you're going to place redstone there, and then we're going to build our floor to the actual house. So, there. And then you're going to take that block out, because we need that space. And then, if this would be where the floor is, where the, sorry, where the doors are, you would, of course, put doors there. And then, just a bit more. So you put doors there, and then a frame around the doors. And then, if you have a block, block, before that, you can put the floor there, and no one would ever notice. And then you're going to put pressure plates, that's where it's going to activate. Um, it's best to put the pressure plates right before the door so it looks very natural, because people will just think that um, they're there to help you open the door. But it's actually part of a mysterious plan. I don't know. But, um, so you're going to want to do that. And then you're going to want to clear out that area there and then I'm going to put redstone 
under the two blocks that uh, the pressure plates are sitting on. If you don't know, then um, if you um, put a pressure plate on top of a block, of course, you do that. But if you put redstone under the block that is that the pressure plate is all on top of, then it will produce a redstone output. Sorry, that was my mail. But anyway, it will produce a redstone output. So, um, that's pretty cool. And then, here you get a redstone output down there. And then, sorry, um, slash time set day. Then you're going to take the redstone down here, put it up here. You're going to put a block here. It can be anything on the stone. Put redstone on top of that block. Take out these two blocks here, right where the repeaters are. Put redstone right here, and then redstone torch here. So that will power the pistons. So they'll naturally, the floor will be there, but when the pressure plates step on, it'll put an output here, um, turning off the redstone torch, um, cutting off the signal to the, um, the redstone output to the um, sticky pistons, opening the door. So, like this. And then, I'm not going to really do it, I'm like, I'm not going to really tell you how to do it on the other one. If you didn't record the that, you can just go back to the um, part where it explains how to do it in the other one. So, you're just going to duplicate it here, and then boom. So, now we're all done with the doors. So, it's a pretty cool mechanism. And, of course, you could cover all of this up. And you can do wood here, and then of course you in real life you would build walls, but this is for demonstration purposes. Purposes, and I want to show you all the mechanisms, so you can see how that's working. We will do separate videos in the future, and um, about all of these redstone techniques with sticky pieces and everything. But this is just what we're doing for now. Um, Again, if you don't really know how this works, it's quite the same mechanism, or technique, redstone sticky pistons in the fall pit trap. So, you can go check out that out video, again, link in the description. So then you're going to build a big pit under here. Of course, if you were in survival, sorry, you would have to, uh, what's it called, um, dig out a pit, but I'm creative, so... I'm just going to use slash full commands. In the future, we will do a video on how to use slash full commands, but I'm just going to use that now. So, if the steep is over here, you go two blocks. Okay. We're also, I'm just going to put some uh, torches down so we can see. Sorry, I do not have Superman pupils, so it's sometimes hard for me to see. And you can see our sticky business right there. So, we're going to do that. Also, if you think I could have done this better in any way, or more compactly, or you just think you could, I could alter it to make it better, then please comment down below and tell us your suggestions. We always appreciate hearing this. So, in real life, you would cover this up. This, like, hole up. So they can't get out. But, we have to get in and out. So, um, we're just going to build a big cavern. So, slash fill. And then we're going to go... to go ahead and get a night vision potion so you can all yep so you can always see what's going on there now we can see everything so um now let me show you how to build the trap there are many ways you can build this trap but uh say the most enjoyable way to build it is 
with cobweb dripping into lava. So I'm going to get some cobweb. There we go. Then, so, um, before you exit the video, I need to tell you something about this cobweb. You have to make the cobweb, you cannot make the cobweb, you like, you can't make the cobweb, um, like, everywhere. Like, you can't cover the, in, well, like, with an entire layer of cobweb. Since then, they can, like, slowly but surely work their way to the, um, edge, and that would really suck. So, I'm going to put cobweb. Usually you would want to clear all the space out. I'm going to do that real quick. Um, or no, it would be hard to get up there. It would be dumb. Or, yeah, I'm just going to do that stuff. There, now I have a bigger, bigger thing. Whoa, that's kind of sus. But, alright. So, you're going to want to have some cobweb. Right about there. More slush filters. So, you're going to want a pretty big pit. Um, and I'll show you in a second why. So, okay, this is big enough. So we're going to take out uh, one, two, three, and then one more, and then delete these three. So, once again, before you exit out of the video, something very important. Um, so you're going to usually want to build a cobweb right underneath there, but the reason you have to put it in the middle and not on the outside is so that they can't slowly but surely mine their way out in the wall, so if they just like jump trying mining, then like their pickaxe won't be able to reach and even if it does if they go ahead and jump for it they um will fall into lava before they can get to it so you have to keep it in the center and then there are many ways you could do this you could put dripstone at the bottom um if you want to make a fall pit trap then you could either just customize this or we but we also have a de dedicated video to making fall pit traps so link in the description you want to go check that out that's a great video fun trap so i'm just going to put lava at the bottom next i can use slash fill commands for that but you're going to want at least like a two deep so they can't really see but preferably three three or more is like ideal so slash fill yep and then so there we go like fill and then we're going to type in lava into kill her burnt. But anyway, that's really how to do it. And then see we have a uh, three layer deep of lava. So let me just demonstrate how this mischievous plan would go down. So we can get out. Then move. So, the way it will work is, um, so we would cover that up. And if you have that all covered up, they probably couldn't hear it, but they probably, they might be able to hear the lava. So I'll hear the pistons for the open. But this is how it will go down. Um, I'm switch to survival. Actually, I'm not going to switch this one. Oh. oh no, I got stuck in a pit. Crap, how could you do this to me, Joey? And then, um, they're just going to fall slowly but surely to their despair. There's once this, um, like, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, meme. And it was about, like, if someone said, uh, or a roast. If someone said, um, I'm going, my grandparents are coming to my house for Christmas or any holiday, you could say, Are they going to watch this pickle with me? Since they don't need a TV for that. But it's just kind of funny. Anyway, so 
that'll wrap up this video. Don't forget, if you enjoy my content, subscribe, um, smash that like button, and if you think anybody else might like seeing it or find it useful, then share it with that person. Once again, smash that like button, subscribe. This is Ben here at channel Mad Dog 2.0. I'll see you guys next time.